In this episode, we will go through webhooks and see what are webhooks, how we can use them, and yeah, what they are useful for. Okay, so the first thing we will do is go to the discord.py documentation about webhooks, which I'll have the link down in the description, so you can check it out yourself. And as you see, what webhooks are, they are a form to send messages to channels in your discord server, or in a Discord server that you have access to without using a bot or authentication. Now, a webhook is specific to a channel, so in any channel you want to send a message to, you will have to generate a different webhook. Okay, so I created a Discord real quick and let's send a message. And as you see, this is the username, right? Now, when you send a message from a webhook, it will not use your username and your profile image instead it will be like a new profile now you can edit that profile username and profile image either by default so it always uses the same ones or you can specify that data in the code directly what webhooks can do is send delete and edit their own messages so they cannot delete or edit other messages just their own messages the first thing we will do now is see how we can generate a webhook so the first thing that you will do is go right here on your server so you will need admin access to do that and then go to server settings and then you will find a tab called integrations and as you see we have webhooks right here so we will create a webhook you can see you can change the name of the user like basically what the username when you send a message will be for that webhook. So I'll leave it to default, so Captain Hook, and then you can also change the avatar. So let's change the avatar with this image right here and click Save Changes. Next, all you have to do is copy webhook URL, and that's it, you have just created your own webhook. And here you can choose the channel which the messages will be sent to. Let's go ahead and go into the code. So let's create a new folder, rename it, let's name it Python Webhooks. Then you want to open that folder in your terminal. Now if you are using Visual Studio Code, to open that folder in Visual Studio Code, you have to do code and then dot, and this will open all your files of that folder. Now, if you use any other ID, then drag and drop your folder on that ID so you can change the files. Okay, so let's name our file main.py and then go back on the documentation and then copy and paste the example. Next, let's go back on our Discord and then copy the webhook URL and we will replace URL here with our webhook URL. Next, as you see in our Visual Studio Code, it says import and then the package could not be resolved. That's because we have to use Python and then install discord.py AIO HTTP. Now, as a requirement for this video, it will be to download Python. And if you haven't already downloaded Python, I'll have a link down in the description name download python and you can download python from there so let's open terminal new terminal or use your terminal that we have opened before and then we will do pip install and then discord.py and also we will install aio http actually this is not necessary so let's use the other example now this example is in case you want to use your function asynchronously, so if you want to send the webhook asynchronously, then you'll use this method. So yeah, let's try the second method, because in our case asynchronously is not really useful. Now in the second example, as you see it says webhook.partial. In, in this example is in case you don't want to use your URL, you can pass the first parameter of your URL, like so, and then the second parameter here. So you have two options, either webhook.fromURL or webhook.partial. So yeah, let's run our function. So let's do python main.py. 
let's go back on our discord and as you see we got hello world because we used the parameter username we overwritten the default username with this username right here as you remember the default username is captain hook now other things you can pass as options here is the avatar underscore url so if you want to use a custom image for this case right here so a custom image for your webhook then you can pass the url of the image right here now if i do comma as you see all of the options are displayed here another thing we can send is files or a single file you can see it right here which i'll show in a bit how we can do and then lastly we can use embeds and then pass allowed mentions so next let's see how we can send files now to upload files all you have to do is open then pass your file location here and then this option called rb so we can read it so let's let's try an example so let me find an image drag it here and paste the name of the file here so in case your file is on the same folder as your main.py script then all you have to do is pass the name of the file and then the extension of it so yeah let's try it so let's run our script and actually that's not the correct method so as you see we got an error and it says object has no attribute file name and that's because instead of doing this we have to first do discord.file and then pass here the file name but first of all let's import file right here and then delete discord and then pass the name of our file so let's run our script and if we go back on discord as you see we just send a file now if you want to use multiple files i guess the way to do that is to create a list and then here pass multiple files now to test this out i'll pass the same file twice but you get how this works so let's run the script again and then if we go back on discord as you'll see we send two files so you can send either one file or multiple files now if we go on embeds or a single embed so you can either send multiple embeds or a single embed and by the way on the documentation you can check all of the methods or parameters you can use so in the file you could see what you can pass here so you can also pass a custom file name and some other options and in our embed as you see we have a couple of attributes so first we can pass the author we can pass a color a description some fields a footer an image and some other useful options so let's do embed equals to then we will open brackets and pass the options here so let's pass an author so we can say author equals to and then i can say michael now if we go on the color as you can see we can use some methods so if we get color from discord then we can use that color and from that color we can pass either blue purple and some default colors now if you want to use your own colors then you'll pass some attributes but instead i'll use the method so let's do that so color and then let's pick blue then next let's pass a description now that's it i'll not pass any other options but feel free to test the other options yourself and let me know down in the comments how that goes so let's run our script and we get an error it says dict object has no attribute to dict and actually instead of doing this this is the wrong method we have to get embed from here and then pass embed and then here we can specify our options so let's do that so give me a second to do that so for example author will be author equals to and that and same for the other ones now here on color.blue as you see we got an error so 
we actually have to run the blue and this should work and there we go so after running the script if we go back on discord there we go this is our embed so this is a test embed so let's see how we can edit a message so there is an option called edit underscore message and we can pass the message id which i'll show you in a bit how we can get then we can edit the content the embeds or a single embed and also the allowed mentions so let's see an example so let's go back and then what we can do is use webhook and then say add the message and here we will pass the message id and now if you want to do this manually what you will do is go on discord then find the message you want to edit so let's say we would like to edit this message so we'll do more then we will click copy message link and then from that link we will get the last id so this one right here and we will use that to identify the message so let's go back copy paste the id of the message and then let's replace the content so we can say edit edited message we can also update the embeds or create new ones not sure if you can create new ones but let's this out so we can say embed equals to and then we can say title edited embed edit the embed for description and then use a different color and let's go back on our terminal and then let's run our script so python main.py okay so why we got that error is because instead of putting a single string here we have to do content and then equals to and that string so we fixed that so let's run our script again and that's it so if we go back on discord as you see we have the edited message and then edited embed edited embed so that's how you can edit messages now let's see how we can delete them so it's actually really simple so if we remove these parameters right here all we have to do now is instead of edit underscore message what we can do is delete underscore message and then if we run the script that should be it so if we go back on discord as you see the message is successfully deleted and yeah if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and yeah with that said you can click right here somewhere right here and i'll give you a recommended video for you